The basic form of a periodic vibration is the pure harmonic vibration which is a single continuous vibration. It is characterized by a single sinusoidal waveform. The amplitude of the vibration depends on the excitation force, while the frequency depends on the stiffness of the spring and the vibrating mass, or rotating speed, indicated in RPM, revolutions per minute. You will rarely see pure harmonic vibration signals occur in industrial equipment, but only in very basic machines of test setups with the perfect conditions for pure harmonic vibrations. Vibrations produced by rotating equipment or components are much more complex. When two vibrations are combined, the signal will no longer look like a pure sinusoidal waveform, but a superimposed combination of the two signals. These type of signals are far more common for rotating equipment in industrial environments. We can divide different types of vibration signals that occur in the industry and its surrounding environment in three categories. Aperiodic vibrations, transient vibrations, and periodic vibrations. It is important to note that not every signal can easily be represented by a sum of pure harmonic vibrations. Aperiodic vibrations Aperiodic vibrations are the result of motions that are not repeated over time and are thus random. As they are not repeated continuously, it is not possible to predict this vibration behavior. In industrial environments, aperiodic vibration signals are often caused by environmental influences other than the motions of the machine itself. Examples of aperiodic vibrations are vibrations caused by earthquakes or driving off-road with a car. These signals are very difficult to interpret. Due to their aperiodic nature, they cannot be used to monitor the condition of rotating machinery. Transient vibrations Transient vibrations are vibrations that occur under the same conditions but are non-continuous. As this type of vibration dies away with time due to energy dissipation, they can be observed only with vibration measurement equipment for a short period of time. An example of transient vibrations are those caused by an impact, such as the impact of a piston caused by the reciprocating movement inside the compressor cylinder or driving over a speed bump with a car. Another example of this excitation of resonance frequencies that might only occur during a startup of a machine. Transient vibrations can be repetitive, but are not continuously present. Periodic vibrations Vibrations that are continuously present and repetitive are called periodic vibrations. Periodic vibrations are the most common form of vibrations on rotating machinery. The behavior of these signals are predictable and are therefore used for vibration analysis. Rotating equipment like turbines, electric motors, pumps, or ventilators are a common source of this type of vibrations. These vibrations can be represented by a mathematical equation quite easily. Note that the most basic form of a periodic vibration is the pure harmonic or single continuous vibration, characterized by a sinusoidal waveform. However, rotating machines are characterized by a multiple of periodic vibrations. Even though these are periodic, these complex vibrations are not always pure harmonic. To summarize this chapter, the frequency is the inverse of the time it takes to complete a period. The unit is hertz and it tells you how often something is vibrating per second. A signal with one frequency and sinusoidal shape is called a pure harmonic signal. Vibrations normally are consisting of signals with various frequencies combined. Rotating machinery typically generate periodic vibrations, which consist of multiple pure harmonic signals.